Israel's latest strikes on Gaza killed at least 26 Palestinians, including five civilians. At least 80 Palestinians were also wounded, most of them civilians. Uh, four Israelis in border towns were wounded in rockets fired by Palestinian militants in Gaza. The rocket attacks began after an Israeli airstrike killed Zuhair al qaisi the head of the Popular Resistance Committees, on Friday. Most of the Palestinian victims were killed on Saturday, making it the deadliest 24-hour period Gaza has seen since the Israeli attack in December 2008 and January 2009. Around 1,400 Palestinians were killed in that assault, most of them civilian. Israel launched this latest attack on Gaza just after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu returned from a critical U.S. visit where he failed to win President Obama's backing for military action against Iran. For more now, we go to Chicago to be joined by Ali Abu Nima, co-founder of the Electronic Intifada, author of One Country, a bold proposal to end the Israeli-Palestinian impasse. I think it's, it's very important to stress that uh, this escalation of violence began on Friday with an extrajudicial execution by Israel of Zuhair al-Qaisi and several other people in Gaza. And that's important because, uh, you know, Israel presents this as they're attacking terrorists who are en route to commit some kind of uh, attack. And that's the claim they always make. But in fact, uh, in almost every case, they're attacking people in their homes, riding in cars, just walking in the street. And there have been hundreds of such extrajudicial executions in recent years where essentially uh, Palestinians that Israel doesn't like are sentenced to death in secret uh, and in absentia and then executed on the streets of the Gaza Strip or, or sometimes the West Bank. And so that's what happened on Friday, uh, as was predicted by many Israeli military analysts. Uh, resistance factions in Gaza retaliated by firing rockets at Israel. No one was killed in any of, of, of the rockets. And interestingly, Hamas did not participate uh, in uh, the retaliatory strikes because, uh, much to Israel's displeasure, Hamas has been consistently moving away from armed struggle. So what uh, happened, as typically, is that the uh, retaliatory strikes, the rocket strikes from Gaza, then become the self-justifying motive for Israel to escalate its bombing of Gaza. And that's exactly what happened this weekend with a, a terrible, uh, terrible toll. And unfortunately, this pattern has repeated uh, many times where whenever there is a a substantial reduction of violence uh, or a ceasefire to which Palestinian groups are largely adhering, Israel comes up with some